body bags were Horlies. Hey everybody, it's Matt from Union Horror Movies, and welcome to Body Bags. It is week 206, and it happens to be Friday. I am bringing a film from you for this week, uh, from 2014. This one is put out by uh, Legless Corpse Productions. <laughs> so you got yourself a little independent horror right here. And it's from 2014, I think I just already said that. It happens to be called The Red Suit. Uh, the Red Suit is pretty much about uh, two sisters. One, her name is Star, is your main character. Her sister, Allie, is very sick, very ill. They go to all these different doctors and come to find out she has a very bad cancer. And none of the doctors can cure her. There's no hope for her, unfortunately. So Star is trying to figure out any way impossible to see any kind of specialist or what to try to save uh, her sister's life. Well, she comes across this old man who looks like a bum. And he says, you know, we have the cure for you. We can take care of your sister and free her of her illness. You just got to trust us. Well, of course. She'll do anything for her sister. So she helps with uh, and calls them up. And this gentleman comes in bearing this uh, kind of like a red tie and says, you know what? She does have cancer. I can cure her. We have to go somewhere secluded. So they end up going to her uh, boyfriend's boss's facility, which is a warehouse. So just word glass warehouse where they cannot be disturbed to uh, cure her. So she's very curious on how this is going to happen and everything. But she decides to do it. She pays the money, and she wants her sister saved. Well, when they get to the facility, lo and behold, there happens to be a night crew happen to be working at the facility, and her boyfriend, who happens to be screwing around, uh, catches her. And, of course, they interrupt the uh, procedure of, of her sister, Allie. What it is is the gentleman who is this kind of a not like a religious man or whatnot, is donning this big, fancy red suit. This red suit can pull the disease out of an individual, and he has to fight and absorb the disease in the red suit to save them. And, of course, he is now sick from it, but he can heal because the suit heals him. So, of course, something goes awry, and now the cancer is loose in the facility. And, of course, it happens to be this weird monster-type creature, and now this cancer can jump into people and rapidly kill them and then jump into the next person and infect the next individual and so on and so on. So, of course, the only way to stop it is for the gentleman in the red suit to absorb the cancer and save the day. <laughs> so, pretty much, of course, there are people trapped. This monster is loose. So, you have yourself a kind of a cool creature feature in this movie. So... <clears throat> That's the synopsis of this movie. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, some complaints I have are it's too dark. There are some scenes where it's really hard to see. You're trying to put your hand over your eyes to catch it. Don't watch it during the daytime because if you have glare on your TV, you're screwed. <laughs> I had to turn off the lights to make sure to see what I'm actually seeing. Another uh, thing I have with it is you don't really see the monster as much. You see him in uh, kind of in the shadow kind of like a silhouette here and there, part of an arm, part of a leg, but you don't actually see him in full getup. I would love to see that, to see what he looks like. I don't know, the acting's pretty cool. Remember, this is a low-budget uh, horror flick, so you're not going to get balls-to-the-wall special effects or anything like that, but I understand. It was a really well-done story. Now, the story must have taken place or kind of got its influence from Tales from the Dark Side. The very first episode of Tales from the Dark Side happens to be about a gentleman who can cure any incurable disease. And, of course, everyone pays out of the pocket for him. He has to go in under basement and fight the disease and absorb it with a crystal. Uh, if you remember that, I think it was the very first episode of Tales from the Dark Side. So this is very similar to that Tales from the Dark Side episode. Uh, you can get the DVD on Amazon pretty cheap. You can also get this on the Legless Corpse website, and it's also numbered. See, I have number 28 out of 200. So it's a not limited Blu-ray run. Uh, it does have some special features. You have alternate scenes, uh, last day of filming, and the reconstruction 
a red reconstructing a red suit. Pretty much, this old lady is sewing a red suit. That's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, you have Fear of My Flesh. It's a it says it's a bonus mini series originally aired on Crypt Horror and Crypt TV. I watched that little episode. It's pretty cool. It's about a woman who is raped by this almost raped by this weird killer, and of course she don't revenge on this sadistic crazy guy. That was actually really cool. Check it out too if you buy this. Check out that little special feature. So yeah, got a low budget horror film, low budget creature feature, man fighting a disease. The disease is alive and infecting everyone. I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, again, it's from 2014, Blu-ray from Legless Corpse, or you can get the DVD on Amazon. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my little review. Please let me know in the comments down below. Let me hear your thoughts. Later guys. Peace.